So, what do you do when you're on holidays in a place that you've never been to before, you want to go fishing, and it's pouring with rain? You head to the local bait and tackle shop and get the skinny on what's biting where. Uh, g'day Gav, how are you mate? Yeah, good mate. It's good to see you. Beautiful. Mate, this is a very well stocked uh, bit of gear, this place. How long have you guys been here? Yeah, we've had this place about um, 25 years, nearly 25 years now. Yeah. And Evans Head is known for its uh, fishing, right? There's a whole bunch of ways that you can, and a whole bunch of species, varieties that you can catch around here. Yeah, definitely. You get your um, estuary, estuary species, and then you've got your um, headlands, and then the beach fishing and ocean fishing around the reefs and that. Gav, yeah, is there anything here that you don't stock? <laughs> um, the kitchen sink. <laughs> Just about everything, mate. It's, yeah. uh, it's sensational. Uh, rainy old day, can you give me a bit of advice? What should I be uh, targeting this afternoon? Uh, there'll probably be a few brim around. There has been some flattered up the beach. Okay. And the odd, the odd tailor, so wouldn't be surprised if there's still a few of them around. But... Good on you, mate. Well, see you go. Friendly local, Gavin. You're coming this way, drop into the Evans Head bait and tackle, and say good day to the crew. So armed with a heap of good local advice and plenty of optimism, we've donned the wet weather gear and we're going fishing. Hopefully we'll get a fish or three down here. Perfect tide mate, perfect low tide. So we're heading on to Broadwater National Park. Perfect tide as you say and uh, you've got the fish, fish whisperer with you so it should be good. <laughs> There's nothing better than a beach drive with a mate, and Tony is on gutter watch today. We've done plenty of beach fishing on Fraser Island together, but we've ventured south about three hours from Brisbane to the tiny beachside town of Evans Head to wet a line and hopefully land a tailor or two. Air Force Beach runs north of Evans Head and is easily traversed at low tide, but there's plenty of exposed coffee rock at the moment, which limits your drive north to only a few kilometres. The tailor fishing looked promising, but sadly we're not getting the results that we need from the gang hooks, so it might be time to mix it up a little. Look at this, Tone. Wow. These are made, in the, these are made in the Redlands, and uh, they reckon that they are the latest and greatest uh, in lures. There's a nice little action on them here. Which one is this at the They're called OM flashes. Now, I know in, in your younger days you were a bit of a flasher yourself, Tone. But, I was uh, quite flashy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how they go anyway. Um, apparently they work pretty well with brim this Green size. Green and gold too, not Australia. Green and gold, mate, very patriotic. There we go. The OM Flasher. Made in the Redlands. Right, so armed with a new rig and full of optimism, I head back down the beach for another crack. Sadly, Tony isn't having much luck either. We're having about as much luck with the fishing today as we are with the weather, but to be honest, who cares? Well, Tony's sulking hard because he didn't even get a bite. In fact, I don't think my bait got touched either, but there is an old saying about one of the worst days fishing is still better than the best day ever in the office, and we've had a good day here at Evans Head. There's a fish and chip shop in town anyway, so. There is one last stop to make before we head back to the caravan park, and that is not to return empty-handed. Nothing fishy either about the 79 series upgrade from ARB. If you would like to toughen up your rig with absolutely no guarantee of catching a fish, head into your local ARB store. <laughs>